pizza, please tell me the correct path to take right now. You go to the lighthouse. Fucking, you do what? <laughs> <laughs> the lighthouse? How do you know that you have to go to the lighthouse? Because the guy says you go to the lighthouse. Let me go talk to let me go talk to Chef Berminti. Well, it does Maybe says, he tells us. It, it does say many people from both ships suggest suggest to ask Matoya's help to tame the monster. Okay, let's talk to the prisoner. Brag. <laughs> Holy shit! I've heard that the sorceress Matoya is an expert at con co at concocting all sorts of tonics. I bet Matoya could even create a brew that would bridle that monster from the underground. All okay, right. great. We were like we're one step away from knowing where to go. Okay. I just took all that gratification away from us. <laughs> I like. But sometimes the game doesn't. Yeah, that's the problem. Like, you know Castlevania 2? No, it's like the I've heard it has a bad reputation for lying to the to the player. Yeah, it's a prime example of it's a game that could be very fun, but it's ruined by having multiple points in the game where it's impossible to figure out what you need to do without looking at a guide. And because you yeah. can't trust the game in that sense that you will somehow be able to figure out what to do next, you have to use a guide, and that way you cannot play the game in this like natural way of figuring things out on your own. Yeah. That's bad. If games do that, it's like over for them. Yeah, this game is like, until that moment where the guard, no, the prisoner told us the exact next step and like they were the very next person that we could possibly have talked to, I was like, yeah, this game commits that sin and it goes in the bin. Um, but that, that, that prisoner and that six pack interaction together kind of gave me a little bit of hope that there's still like, you know, a natural experience to be had guideless in this game. Yeah. Just, how did we take so long last time? What did because we it sucked last time. Because there was no hope for us last time. It was, um... Yeah. It was shit last time. Ah, right. Was, yeah. Matoya. What? You again? You just don't learn, do you? Alright. Come on up. And Matoya is a girl, by the way. <laughs> However, I have prepared a number of traps in this lighthouse. See if you can make it to the top of life. Oh, Alright, let's drink some water. Let's save the game. And listeners, guess what? Here we are in Matoya's Trap Tower. Tune in next episode for Matoya's Trap Tower Dungeon. Oh shit, uh, Editor Dan here. I fucking forgot that I'd done this. But the last episode's already published, I can't unpublish it. And re-edit it. Ugh, what an idiot I am. In which we'll go to the top and talk to Matoya and then tame a rat. Oh my god, this music, oh my god. <laughs> it's so See hard to think. See you next time, listeners. It's, it's so hard, hard to think. <laughs> it just is sustained and terrible. It wants your attention. <sighs> oh... Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. What's up? I'm going to take a break. Mm -hmm. Not a break that I'm not going to return to and we'll do Matoya's... We, we, you and me, Pizza, we're going to go up Matoya's tower. Today? Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You got your groceries. It's not midnight yet. We're good to go. Uh-huh. Uh, hang on. I'll be back in two seconds. Sure. Hello. Hi, Malachi. Bye. All right. Hello, listeners. Welcome back. Hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. It's been another six days. It's another episode of Vampire's Dawn. Except this time we're going up a tower and we're not a vampire, we're a ponytail. <laughs> a ponytail. We are a ponytail, yes. Okay. <clears throat> Pizza, what happened last episode? We... 
we fought the Mole King. And the Mole King is currently wrestling with like a couple cats. So, so we went to the lighthouse because there's a cat here that can help us with that situation. There's a cat? Matoya is a cat? I mean, that's what I'm assuming. Everybody's a cat, right? Sure. Did you read it in a guide? No. No. Oh, okay. I didn't assume that Matoya was a cat. I thought Matoya was some kind of like, I don't know, angel or devil or something. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's right then. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It'd be good if it wasn't a cat. I'm fucking sick of cats. <laughs> I thought I liked cats. Yeah. Maybe I'm more of a dog person. What? No, I'm lying to myself. Yeah. So Malachite is crying oh, right. in the corner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just because he wants more ham. Oh, oh, let's go give some Malachite some ham. Wow, somebody's happy. Yeah, got that ham heaviness. Wow. Uh, uh, I can't quite reach the ham because of the headphone cable. I need to oh, find no, friends it. that have cats. I'm gonna have a couple of friends, I think, just because they have cats. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I've got the ham. Hey, cat. Get this. Yeah, you got it. What do you reckon? Two slices? Ah, oh, that's so endearing. The cat is eating ham. Nice. <sighs> animals consuming the ham's other going animals. back in the fridge. Uh, Always a good thing. All right. Okay. So yeah. So in last episode, the mole king, like Peter said, and now we've got to, we've got to go talk to Matoya because rumor has it Matoya's good at potions, and she can even do potions which calm wild monsters like the mole king. So for our good friends, the Bloodhook Cat Army, we're gonna go get a potion from Matoya or bring Matoya to the Bloodhook. I don't know. Let's go up the stairs to the trap area. Ah, random encounters. What is? Ah, shit. Fuck. Wow, that's okay. Sound. It's that. <laughs> okay, Matoya. <laughs> This sort of trap is a real doozy. Prepare yourself better. Should I prepare ourselves okay. better? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Put that guide away. Uh, <laughs> listeners, we fell through a hole in the floor that we didn't know was there until we stepped through it. But when we stepped through it, I think the other holes were also revealed. Um, but honestly, the only place I could see to go to... Yeah, we can kind of see where the holes were. They've been inexpertly patched. Should I cross these? Ouch. Yeah, I guess I have to. Yeah. That looked painful. Uh, <sighs> it's pallet swap some, skeletons. Some pallet swap skeletons. Their bones aren't grey, they're pinkish, and their cape isn't red, it's orange. That's how <laughs> you know it's <laughs> a different enemy. Yeah, pink bones. These skeletons used to be women, I think. Um, Obviously. Don't know why. Don't know why anyone would think that was funny, or why I would think it was funny. <laughs> because it's so dumb. Um, let's turn one into a chocolate. Sure. Women like chocolate. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> turn it into a rose. Even their next. swords and shields. Yeah. What well, was with that sort? They're also pink? They're women. They're also pink. Mm. Obviously. Hey, we got a figurine. Nice. We're almost dead. We're down to 30 health out of 90 or whatever we've got these days. Do we get the names of Let's the monsters health. when we have when we look at our figurines? Let's check our figurine stash. Wanna take bats? Oh, we get the names of the monsters if it's called when we kill them. skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, um... <laughs> what are the Dragon Quest orange slimes called? Slimettes or something? Really? She slimes. Oh, she slimes. Wow, she slimes. Oh, are you yeah. kidding me? Yeah, the slimes. Bloody Bone is now a doll. 
Matt oh. beat Bloody Bone. Obviously, it's oh, blood. Okay, that's significantly darker. Actually, it's less dark than a, <laughs> than a stereotyped skeleton. Yeah, it's, it's more just like... Got some blood on it. More like a little like meat left on the bone. Yeah, perfectly natural. Let's check our monster collection. Uh, monster status. Undead troll, grey slime, and bloody bone. There's our bloody bone, level 10, and HP 61, <sighs> MP5. There's nothing we can oh, do with those. I, I mean, don't read it. Maybe, maybe Matoya at the top of the tower is going to be like, ah, ha, 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 here's a potion. Also, here's a machine which lets you bring your figurines to life. <laughs> you know? Yeah, maybe. Do I have to heal 61 out of 92? Yeah, I better heal. 92 out of 92. Let's go through the door. We're going to go through the door because I can see we're in. This is like a lighthouse, right? So it's a bunch of round. You know, in that uh, in that chapter from Ihetova Monogatori, uh, where Budley Gusko is going to set off the, um, <laughs> the volcano. That was so <laughs> eruption sad. Yeah. To change the climate in yeah. the local area. Oh, Budley. Uh, and his sister lived in a lighthouse. Or you go in there and it's like a lighthouse because the. The levels in the RPG are like hexagons, and you go upstairs, and there's another hexagon that you're walking through. That's kind of what we're walking through now. So you can't really, you know, what's cool about a hexagon in a in a RPG game? You can't fit that many rooms, so they're not that complicated. There's a staircase up. There's one room, and I can see two chests in there. And Bubble. so I'm going to investigate the chests. I'm going to fall through holes in the floor, probably. Matoya's going to laugh at us, and then we'll come up, get the chests, and go up the staircase. Let's do it. Budley died, right? Budley Wait, died. The, Shit, who is this? The door is talking to us. The door is Marsha. Oh, it's, like, it's like Flora Door from The Wiggles, Season 1 and 2. <sighs> Flora, may we come out? Ah, people! Who's calling? It, it's me, Flora Door. It's Murray. Murray Wiggle? Of course, Murray Wiggle. And Greg, Anthony, and Jeff Wiggle, too. Can you open up, please? Oh, no. I'm sorry. But I never let anyone in that I can't see. But we're already in. Then you'd better come out so that I can see you. Come out. Now. This minute. W we will. Uh, just open up. Please. Ah, uh, no, you don't. You might be strangers. But... Where are the Wiggles? That's what you say. Come out here so I can see you. But, 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 yeah. And then the floor like door was different. Yeah. Just like that after, after those seasons. Exactly the same as that. It's a really good Wiggles joke. Uh, <laughs> when they're like, um, they want to get through the door and it's Flora door. I, and I, I forget what season Flora door uh, changed from a female voice actor to a male voice actor. But I think that the door is like, oh, who goes there? And they're like, it's it's us, door, the Wiggles. We live here. And the door's like, what? No, you're not. Prove it. Uh, what's um, what's Murray's favorite color? And they're like, oh, it's red. Uh, what's Anthony's favorite food? And like, oh, Anthony's favorite food is apples. And like, what's six hundred and ninety-three thousand seven hundred and forty-eight divided by six point three? And they're like, one hundred and ten thousand one hundred eighteen point seven three. I don't know what that math is, <laughs> but they just answer it right away, and it's like, oh, okay, you can go in. And that, for a kid's show, I thought was a really funny joke. <laughs> what was? What's <laughs> like the joke? They, the, t the two questions were like stupid idiot trivia that everybody knows, and then the third question was a maths problem that they just solved immediately anyway. Oh, yeah. The same joke reminds me kind of Monty Python, the Holy Grail, there's this bridge... Uh, yeah, they probably stole it from that. You're right. But they have to cross the Terrible bridge. Terrible Tim. And, yeah, right. One gets like an easy question. He just gets the pass. And the second guy thinks he's also going to get an easy question, but he's going to get a super hard question. Then the third guy gets like a mm. super ambiguous question, like a, a opinionated whatever. What's your favorite color? Yeah. 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 Th there's this, uh, there's like a comic... I think it's on Image, the Image label or whatever, called Paper Girls. 
which is like a comic set in the 80s. It's like a bit of an indie darling comic, like, oh yeah, you should read this really cool comic, it's really cool, it's set in the 80s. Like, that's not part of a massive trend that's happening currently. Um, but the comic, the first scene of the comic is the main character is, it's it's her dream before she wakes up to go and do her paper route. And the dream is like the, the Challenger space uh, shuttle disaster um, and then she meets the devil, and her, the devil has, like, her sister in hell, uh, and the devil's like, oh, if you can't answer this question, I'm gonna kill your sister for real, and, and the main character's like, oh, no, and the question is like, okay, two trains are heading towards each other at 65 <laughs> kilometers an hour, one leaves, you know, one leaves the station, of the Pensworth station at 2 p.m., one leaves the Antwerp station at 3 a.m., there, and the two stations are, you know, a hundred kilometers away from each other. At what point do they cross paths? And she's like, ah, oh, ah, oh, and the devil kills her sister and then she wakes up. <laughs> and that exact situation, I feel like, has played out in my head so many times. Like, imagine if I was, imagine if, like, a devil was challenging me to do these questions that the teachers have tried to make me do and I just can't do. Imagine if something really mattered and I, and my failure actually mattered at these things that I constantly fail at. Mm. <clears throat> that's like reading that in the comic was mind blowing because that's uh, like a situation that's played out in my head many times. Interesting. Yeah, it's always cool to. That's like um, when these meme images um, got made first on 4chan, and it's like this frog in the middle, and it says uh, at the top, take shit, and at the bottom, read shampoo label. And everybody in the world was like, I read the shampoo label when I take a shit. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it's just the, the thing yeah. nobody talks about usually. Yeah, and the, yeah, when you point out that more than one person does it, the other people who do it are like, Oh my god! I the image, the JPEG image that. is psychic. Yeah. Yeah. But hey, Marsha. Yeah. Hello, I'm Marsha, the magic door that guards Matoya's treasure room. Okay, well, this was unexpected. <laughs> However, However, if you're sharp... You go, you be Marsha. Uh, I mean, you just read... I thought we alternate, no? We do alternate, but I went on such tirades that I do not know what is happening anymore. <laughs> and I have drunk so much glue vine that I am what? lost. You, you have glue vine? I thought you don't sea. get that shit. No, I got that in Vampire's Dawn. I enjoyed some tasty glue vine what? Uh, a couple episodes a couple dozen, dozen episodes ago. Okay, it's a seasonal thing here. You can only get that around Christmas. Is it Christmas right now I'm in Australia? I'm celebrating your birthday. It's not my birthday That's yet. Seasonal. It's tomorrow. Oh, it is for you. Is it past midnight? No. Oh. No, it's 11.20 okay. at night here. Anyway, Marsha says... <laughs> However, if you're sharp, I'll allow you inside. Will you accept the challenge of my puzzle? Yes, yes, Marsha. Come here, then. Wow. Puzzle. Okay. <laughs> Flip all the coins to the face side. So, then. Okay, so you said left, right, up, down, right? Uh, Yeah, do the left one first. Then do the left. right one. Right. Top, bottom. Top, bottom... Oh, it's the wrong side. Oh, face side? Oh, shit. So now do the corners. Okay. Which uh, corners? Yeah, the opposite corner, yes. And then do the other corners. How do you know this? Oh, my God. Listen, she's right. Do the middle. Oh, my God. <laughs> how did you do How did you do that? You're like a fucking magician. <laughs> I don't know. This is pizza's like magic or something. <laughs> Marsh is like, hey, well done. I would not have done that. Uh, that I would not have been capable of that. Look, I mean, I would, but I would have hammered on them. You may you know? pass through here freely now. Thank you, Marsha. Yeah, thank you, Marsha Dor. Marsha Dor. Whoa! Whoa! It's. I don't know. Oh. It's a lady. Yeah, it's a lady. Look, she's she bought a bra from Honey Burdette. What? What's that? Ah, uh, it's a bra shop. It's it's um, they make sort of nice, comfortable bras, but they've got lots of like uh, accoutrement, which kind of shows up above your neckline usually. So it's like, oh look, it's a Honey Burdette bra because there's like lots of you know little straps and lacy bits and stuff. Hmm, sounds good. Yeah, it's I, yeah, I like them. 
I appreciate them when I see them. Mm. Uh, but yeah, I think that this was not. This was a scripted encounter. Oh, you think so? Wow. Yeah, because there was this. I mean, I might be wrong. Whoa. Wow, she reached for you. She's got five. The now. animations aren't bad. Yeah. They're cool. Map would beat vampire. <gasps> it was a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh shit, I should have turned her into a chocolate statue. Oh, you're right. Oh, what? I can't carry anymore. Sorry, I got some snacks. I have to... I have to use some healing nuts. Because I can't carry anymore. Oh. Yeah, your inventory is cluttered as fuck. Yeah, why would I... Why would I ever need healing nuts? I know a healing spell. I'm just going to use these healing nuts, even though I... I'm at full health. It's kind of I sad. I don't care for them. Kind of sad to just use them like that, but yeah, what are you gonna do? Yeah, what am I gonna do? Give them to a cat who has a festering wound who needs healing? <laughs> no. Mm -mm. You know, I'm gonna just eat them for no reason. So, what do you think? How many floors this tower has? Oh, five. Not including the ground floor. In ground one, two, three, four, and then the boss is on the fifth. Okay, interesting. I mean, the friend. That's my guess. Mm. I mean, but I was wrong about this whole door situation. You were? I was. I thought that we were going to go through the door, there would be a hole trap which we'd fall through, we'd come back up here knowing where the hole was and get the treasure. Instead, the door was a character <laughs> who made us solve a puzzle and then we fought a vampire and then we got the chests. Right. So, so yeah, there you go. Oh, great, a strength seed. Oh, That's we can good. gamble again. We can use that right away. Oh, I got a, fu a thunder scab. Cool. Scarab. Oh, a scarab. I'm gonna say four. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, I forgot to gamble. Pizza, I'm sorry. I just let you gamble on your own and you lost. <laughs> friends don't let friends gamble on their own. Oh, well. Um, do I have anything else I can just use? Why am I... I've got, I bet I've got a bunch of rusty... Look at this shit. <laughs> you got so many pirates and so many healing nuts. So many healing nuts, oh my god. This game is such a problem. I'm gonna drop all these rusty swords. Discard the rusty sword? Yes. Discard the rusty sword? Yes. I should have been selling these each time I was near a, a shop cat. Mm -hmm. A shop cat? That was an Tovo character, a shop cat, I think. Really? Yeah, I think one of them was a, a shop cat. Where'd you get a shop cat from? Hmm? Where would you get a shop cat from if you need one? A shop cat shop. Oh. Makes sense. <laughs> Is that the answer you were expecting? I'm just making conversation. Oh, yeah, thank you, Pizza. That's good. All right, second floor. Ooh. Oh, the pigs have been here. <laughs> They've made a special pig switch here. <laughs> there's a chest which we can't get to, except there's... Because uh, it's been... The way is blocked by a trench. I use a lever. Oh, I, I mean, I investigate a lever. I search the lever. It's, I examine the lever. It's two levers, though. The Oh, yeah, go ahead. Tell us what the examination reveals, pizza. The pedestal has two levers. Both levers are down. Um, let's use... What? Hang on. Oh, so, okay. Search. Throw left lever? Throw right lever. Well, the treasure chest is to the right of us. So we should use the right lever. Oh, but that's what the trap designer would want us to think immediately. So they would have triggered the thing that we want to do on the left lever. Just like they would have hidden a special item underneath a puddle of mud which they expect us to drink. <laughs> so let's throw the left lever. No, right. Move right Move up. Move it up. The floor appeared on the right side. Ha 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 Oh, shit. <laughs> ah, another vampire. So it must have been a random encounter and not a scripted door encounter. Yeah. Those are pretty good. I like that it's um like not your... 
regular vampire. It's like a, a lady. Um, and I like that she's still just called vampire and not female vampire. <laughs> yes. <sighs> yes. Oh! Oh, she left a devilish aroma. <laughs> mm. No, she dropped it. Oh, she dropped her devilish aroma. Let's check out the devilish aroma. Oh, let's let's info the devilish aroma. There it is. Devilish aroma replenishes magic power up to 16 MP. That's good. I want them. Mm. I like that. All right, I'm gonna flow the th throw the other lever. <sighs> Wait. Throw the right lever. They're both down. Yeah, why? It's reset. They're both down now. Mm. Well, we're gonna move the right one up. That didn't do anything. It didn't do anything. Okay, well, we're gonna search it again. We're gonna put the left one. What? Throw the left lever up. They're both up now. This puzzle is really something. Move the left one down. Yeah? Throw the right lever, move it down. Well, the left one. What about the left one? What about these slimes, though? And these bloody bones? It's so frustrating that you can get random encounter without moving. Yeah, that's no good. What? Oh, one of the, one of the grey goos used dig. That's a Pokemon move. Like, what is it doing? I can't select it. It's gonna come back up and hurt you in a sec. It is. I better not be on low health. Let's use magic heal. <sighs> Been playing a lot of Darkest Dungeon recently. Wow. It's really good. It's a lot of fun. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Ah, mm. oh. uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, the dig was an escape. The dig was an escape. It dug itself away. Which, fair enough. Through I would the, run to. Through the floor. Into the... What are we, do we doing again? Uh, s s switch to left, switch up. Throw the left lever. Let's move it down further. That's probably done it. Why do you have to Not find me? <laughs> I just wish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's. Oh shucks! <laughs> Hang on. Come on. Left lever. Okay, move it up. So the left lever is up. The right lever is down. That's not the answer. Oh my god. Should we show the, throw the right lever up? I guess. Oh. A floor tile appeared on the right side. <laughs> this makes no fucking sense. No, it doesn't. It's oh, like how's it the success now? is. Well. Oh. Okay, let's just go. Okay. <laughs> Watch the chest. Oh, I found a topaz. I hope that stacks. Uh, let's check out info on the topaz. Um. Topaz, a gem worth 500 G. What? That's odd. Why wouldn't you just find oh, 500 fucking G? fucking damn god ass fuck. Wow. Shit me right in the brain. What? Matoya, oh, did you fall down and go boom again? Be careful. Ah, <laughs> Hello, this is getting over it with Evan Tolley or whatever this game's called. <laughs> Oh fuck up my ass, <laughs> god damn it. Oh. <laughs> I fell immediately down a hole. I gotta go. Uh. Uh, oh. Through the spikes. Take damage again. off the spikes. Through the spikes again. Beat these bloody bones. I'm never gonna run. I'm always gonna beat the bloody bones. That's Next time there's a vampire pizza, remind me to turn her into a chocolate statue. Uh, 
Okay. What do you think of this game so far? Well, you know, there's a lot to be said about a game where there's like a blood hook and a gun boss cat pirate ship on a desert. It's a shame that the actual game sucks. Hmm. But here's the thing. The listeners don't have to play it. They do have to listen to us play it, but they don't actually have to like endure the worst of it. So I think that this is still, like, there's a certain kind of game, isn't there? There's a certain kind of game, and it's like a two out of five game with artistry to it. And it's a game which someone's not really going to play for themselves, but someone else has to be there to play it for them. And this is the kind of game, and we're those people. And the listeners are the other people in that story I just told. That's a two out of five. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's... I agree. Maybe a t it's a two and a half, and the two and a half is all like um, quirk. So it's a D minus. I don't know about D's. Don't ask me about D's pizza. <laughs> How do I use magic? Shit! I have to go into the magic menu. Hmm. I had no hope. Okay, the vampire. I'm going to turn her to a chocolate statue. Does she have interesting shoes on? Hang on, when she attacks us, check out her feet. I'll check out her feet. Uh, uh, yeah, no, kinda, maybe. but just like sort of standard flats. Will a random strike do less damage? Yeah. What? Oh, Four she heal. used a hyper potion on herself. Uh. Darn this vampire. Let's see. Which bracelets can I wear tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, one random strike and then I'm creating a figurine. Oh yeah, um, remember to do that. Yes? Thanks, pizza. You're welcome. Oh, you do All right, we chuck the chocolate square at her. Well, I wouldn't be doing a podcast every week, so thank you. <laughs> Vampire is now a doll. Is I mean, that's true. Th that it's now a doll? Yes. No, that, like, the, I don't know. That I really enjoy having this time, this regular thing, mm -hmm. that's like you and me playing a game. It's, like, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Even though... Parts of the experience are shit. <laughs> yeah, the games just happen to keep sucking, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. But maybe that's part of the appeal. Okay. Up to the third floor. Oh, it's a boulder puzzle with random encounters. Okay, I'm definitely gonna wear this bracelet. Mm. <laughs> it's fitting. I'm perfect. definitely gonna attack the grey slime first. I'm also gonna go for like a. Um. The perfume I'm going to use is called Poisoned Apple. I think that's a good one. Mmm. I think I heard when you got that, that perfume. Mm, yeah, I remember you telling me about Poisoned Apple. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. So I hear. And that's high price because I have a shit ton. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that was early days of the podcast. Yeah, I don't remember. Mmm. Do you still have tiny little vials? Like yes. tiny, teeny little... <laughs> yes. Yeah. <clears throat> I ordered like my second collection. Like for the second, or I think two times by now, I just ordered the entire new collection. So I have a shit ton. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> At some stage, I'm gonna just need to start running from these encounters because they sure do slow down everything. Yeah. Yeah. It might be this stage. Random encounters are. Oh, let me get the info on the new spell we got. Info. Ice wall takes five magic. Ice wall envelops the enemies in a huge block of ice. That's great. Well, I there you go. Now we know. We could have like a philosophical discussion about the nature of RPGs. Which ladder should we take up? Let's take this one. Yeah, the one by the rocks. They both led to the same place. There's two fountains here. 
Right next to each other. Oh, <laughs> I've poisoned one fountain. It's a coin flip which one you choose. Do you like my trap? That's not a trap. Do you want to have a philosophical I'll take discussion it. about the nature of RPGs? But you, if you want to, we can have that philosophical discussion. It's just a thought I just had. Ah, th oh, share your thought, pizza. Um, oh, I'm gonna run. What the fuck am I doing? Run away! Run away from the bloody bones! Oh, I can't. I missed. So random encounters are like the bread and butter of RPGs, right? At least old ones. Is that? Would you say that's correct? The bread and butter. The random encounters. Yeah. They're like. Yeah, yeah, totally, 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 totally. It's if like, you picture the delicious mutton dinner you're going to have at the end of the day being like, oh, uh, the princess at the end of this dungeon tells me a little bit of the story and where to go next. But the rest of the meals are just like, oh, I go over to my hovel hole and I get out a wedge of bread and I cut it with my carving knife. And a little bit of cheese if I've saved enough, enough money from the mud farm where I work. I have bread and a little bit of butter for the rest of my meals. Yeah, it's like a little treat is some story and the rest of the time you're just struggling through encounters, seeing your level go up. I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> what are RPGs without random encounters that you had over? Right? Yeah. But then, now the thing is, everybody hates random encounters. When we walk around, we don't want them to happen. Nobody walks through a dungeon and is just waiting for the next random encounter. Unless they're like grinding, but then they're doing that to have a higher level, not to have those fights. Right? Yes. Yeah. Nobody You're doing it for the gratification of of getting the higher level. Yeah. The one the one thing I'll say is like um Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Origami King or whatever it is. Uh -huh. The newest Paper Mario game. The weakest part of that game for me is the random encounters because it's giving you a puzzle to do. And it's a puzzle that I'm bad at. But someone who loves puzzles, they, may be, they, they might play that game and they're like, Whoa! This puzzle game has like this crazy new kind of format I've never experienced before. An RPG? Whoa! And it's giving me, you know, the standard puzzles which I'm here for. I love these puzzles. But I get to walk around afterwards. Oh my gosh, this is the best game in the entire world. Hi, my name is, you know, Derek, and I love puzzles. I'm here for the puzzles and nothing else. Whoa, what's this? A story around the puzzles? My mind is completely blown out the top of my brain. Whoa! You know, that kind of person probably exists that loves the kind of, like, the RPGs almost like Final Fantasy X, where the fights are a bit of a puzzle. Like... Oh, this character is weak against, you know, ranged uh, lightning attacks exclusively, and so I have to get Walker with this special ball to attack them. And you can swap out characters to, to meet each puzzle. Also, if you play like Diablo 2, um, there's these three stages to it, right? First a regular playthrough, and then there's the next difficulty where you just play the entire game again, but on Nightmare, <laughs> and then on Hell. And the main thing that uh -huh. changes, apart from everything getting like more HP and more dam damage, is um, elemental resistances. So suddenly all kinds of enemies have resistance to lightning or fire or ice. Mm. And now you have to like stop using that one OP fire spell because most of the monsters might just be immune to it. So suddenly yeah. you have to start thinking and, and stuff. So it's, again, that becoming a, a little bit like a puzzle, maybe. Yeah. that. But apart from that one incredibly specific scenario where someone loves puzzles and they're playing a, like a puzzle combat RPG, I broadly agree with you. The actual part where you're, where you're fighting the random encounters is the work that you do to get the gratification of seeing your numbers go up. Yes, but now why do we do it? If I think of a game like Atrian Odyssey, um, I played that for the three years a bunch, and I put it on super hard mode. So it's like every single encounter is like you can't just click X. You have to think about what you're doing. You start out with a party of four or five. <clears throat> so it's it's never not just like a bump in the road. It's always like, hey, pay attention. This is the game. You gotta play this, or you're gonna lose. Um, mm. Like, even 
and and the game hardly has any story around that it's just like a dungeon crawler like that's what it's about these fights so suddenly you take mm. this stuff that in most rpgs you just it's just kind of in the way and it becomes a main game um and that makes me like question the nature of random encounters and, and how we do we like them do we dislike them what are we what is this are video games even mm. fun in the end can I tell you when it might be fun? Uh, when you've hired for your RPG game a bunch of artists and they're like, oh, imagine a lizard, but like it's got mushrooms on its back and its attack could be, you know, it opens up its mouth and its tongue as a mushroom and spores come out of the end of the tongue and they poison your healer. And you're like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And now here, I've come up with an enemy and it's like a basilisk, but it has wings. And, you know, and they have like a fun creative time and they fill the game full of all these unique monsters. That's when it, like, I kind of like the idea of like, oh shit, what is this that I'm fighting? Oh my god. And Dark Souls is a bit like that, you know? But I think some RPGs can be a bit like that. Like, whoops. <laughs> like, what the hell is this now? This situation and this character. Hmm. Yeah, especially in Dark Souls when I saw like, um... What is it? Ceaseless Discharge? Um, yeah. I was like super interested in what that is about. And that's, yeah, that's, a, but Dark Souls, like, that's a whole different thing. That's not random encounters. That's just no. fun. A good game. It is just fun. I'm now eating the, the, um, the cat. I'm eating the cat. That's why it's complaining so much. Yeah. It's like, oh, no, thank you. The other way around, please. I like to eat things, not the other way around. No, I'm eating the orange that was in my in my glue vine. Oh, that's kind of disgusting. It's delicious. Um, mm. Then I need help, but maybe we're also, like, we're playing this video game, right? <laughs> no, no, I can help you. Okay. Of course I can. Do you know, like, I have these... Holy shit. Where, uh, uh, I have these necklaces, so now I'm, now I'm up to necklaces. Mm -hmm. Um, that are you sending me a video or something? No. Or do I just mind's eye it? I yeah, do mind's eye it. Okay, cool. Um, they have these two knots that let you like adjust the length of the mm -hmm. bracelet. And one of the, the br like the neck bracelet. Yes. Oh, sorry, the necklace. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and one of the one of the knots opened on one of the sides but only like half of it opened and i'm not sure how to tie it again so it works the same that it did before i mean it still does mm. work the same i just don't know why it's half open i guess mm. well, maybe your necklace will fall off yeah you're in the middle of a of a, of a of an act that would suck. Of an action, performing an action. I don't want, yeah, that would suck. I don't want that to happen. Yeah. No. Yeah, be concerned about it, Peter. That's my advice. Be very concerned. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Happy? Mm. Really worry about it. <laughs> okay. You might lose that necklace. I bet it's a good one, too. Yeah, it's a Madras mask and necklace. Oh. It's looking really good. Oh, God. oh, okay. Well, if it looks really good, yeah, be concerned about it. Imagine I'd get home and just notice that it's not around my neck anymore, and then I don't know where I lost it. You need a friend who's good with knots. <clears throat> I guess. See if you can find one of them. You need a, ca a friend with cats and a friend who's good with knots. Yeah, yeah, I agree. <sighs> Especially getting into, like, bondage and stuff, I'm definitely going to need someone who's yeah. good with, with knots. Did I ever show you my Yaoi Shiburi pendant? No. What's that? Ah, uh, I bought some. Some. I bought some. <laughs> I bought like a um, a brooch I'm never gonna be able to wear in public. But I'll send it. To, I'll show you pictures after the after the episode. Okay. Uh, but they're so cool. But <laughs> the circle of people who also think they're cool is. Not the the it doesn't like cross over with the general public. I don't think. 
Uh, let's drink the left fountain, shall we? Sure. Is it dirty, dirty mud water? Drink it. Let's see. The fountain is overflowing with clear water. Will you take a zip? Nah, that doesn't sound like something for me. Yeah, <laughs> look at this information we get after declining to drink but the clear water. The order suggests that some foreign substance has been mixed with the water. Whoa. Good one, game. Good job. Let's try this one. A faint musky odor is wafting from this fountain. Will you take a sip? Well, last time we got information after saying no. So let's say no again. Nothing. Yeah, drink the musky Faint one. musky odor. Let's drink the musky one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love it. it I the love game's Victoria. doing exactly the Victoria's thing that you thought friend. it was doing before. It is doing exactly the thing that I thought it was doing. The clear, clean water is the poisoned water, and the musky smelling water is the MPHP restored water. Yeah. Shit, yes. Fuck, great. <laughs> Who's this Matoya? I'm into it. Ha <sighs> ha ha. Finding random encounters with a grey pair of slimes. And a pink one in the middle is a skeleton. I cast a lot of physical damage on the slimes, and the skeleton hits me. Ah. Uh, I should be running, but I've now committed a bunch of damage into this fight, so I'm just going to finish it. Sure. But remind me, Pizza, every single time there's an encounter, you say, Run, Dan, run, run away. Run, Dan, run, run away. I mean, after this one. <clears throat> okay. After I've finished being a fool and finishing this one. All right. It goes for so long. And I care so little about what happens. <laughs> Imagine me. <laughs> I found a bracelet yet? Uh, yeah, I have three. I'm gonna wear two on one. Uh, um. Oh my god, what's that part of the body called? Pardon? Knuckle? No. Oh. What's it? What's it called? Where the, wrist? Where the hand connects the wrist, thank you. I'm gonna wear two on the right wrist and one on the left wrist. Um, I'm gonna jump down this hole. Da, is that a good idea? Oh, oh mm, shit. You missed it. Ah, but did I? But did I? I mean, there's a oh. chest here, but there's a magic bottle. What? A magic <coughs> bottle. That's better so than this is a chest bottle. that I could have found if I'd explored the second or third, whatever floor we're on, if I'd explored it better. Hmm, yeah. Let's go up this, this staircase. Okay. So now, I'm gonna have a... I'm gonna run away! I'm gonna run away from this random encounter! Run away, Dan. Run away. Pizza, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You know what's funny? If I was doing this and it was a podcast, I would be editing out all these fights. I'm gonna jump down this hole. I Shit. missed again. <laughs> missed again. <laughs> Okay, next time. Next time. What do you reckon? This hole? Uh, yes. Bingo! Uh, we landed on a random encounter, which I'm going to run away from. Mm -hmm. You should always do that. You should always run. Always be running. Is there anything else I could wear tomorrow? Anything fancy? Um... Uh, I got bracelets, earrings, makeup, of course, nail polish. I opted oh, against I the necklace. Consider clothing? I don't know. That's considered. Thank you. What is a magic bottle? Something that I found. It contains a genie, possibly. <clears throat> uh, let's get info on it. I found a few of them now. It's probably uh, MP restoration. Oh, yeah. No, what? Huh? Increases what? magic by 20% oh. only in battle. That's kind of interesting. So it's, it's a, a temporary stat boost. Cool. Um, maybe they sell for a lot of money, but otherwise that's kind of useless. Let's, uh, there's, so, listeners, we fell through a hole onto a platform we would otherwise be unable to get to. Uh, there's a little boulder which I'm going to go play with. Because if that boulder does nothing, then I've just got to fall through another hole and start from the bottom of the tower, which kind of sucks. But now that we're running from encounters, 
It's all fine. We ran away from those three enemies, just that. Here I am investigating this boulder. Nothing can be done with the boulder. I'm jumping down the hole. Great. I go up the stairs. I think this is the third or fourth level now. And now we're going up onto the fourth or fifth level. We're having an instant, unavoidable random encounter, which we're going to run from. It's a slime and a vampire. What a pair. <laughs> I bet they don't get along. Probably a pet. Maybe. Oh, no, there's another... Oh, shit. Oh, oh, pizza. I did. I went down a hole I didn't mean to. Coming up on a double <sighs> switch in front of a spike pit. Mmm. Yes. A pit of spikes. But does the double switch uh, shut the spikes? Or does it build a bridge across to that chest? Either on, depending on how you flip the switches, I bet. Let's throw left lever. Move it up. Let's th uh, throw right lever. Move it up. Let's throw left lever. Oh, that's right lever. Move it down. And now let's throw left lever. Uh, move the right one up again. <laughs> <laughs> Throw the left lever down. Okay, that wasn't the solution. That did nothing. <laughs> Let's move the right one down. Did nothing. Let's th throw the left one up. Wonder why they didn't localize this video game. <laughs> okay, the levers appear to do nothing. Just walk over the what spikes to the staircase. Okay, I'll walk over the spikes. I'll get to the treasure chest by jumping down from a hole in the floor above. Mm, sure. I'll run away from this random encounter. Uh huh. Oh boy, pizza. I don't know. Watch any good movies lately? Um. I was gonna watch The Pig with Nicolas Cage, but I didn't. Uh-huh. Uh, I got recommended Love and Leashes. That's a Korean movie about BDSM. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh... That's all I got. I haven't watched a movie in five years. You're a crazy person. Yeah, I'm a crazy person. Shit. The devil, what? <laughs> Walk over the spikes. Pizza, tell the listeners what just happened. I can't be bothered. I'd rather tell the listeners that my comfort movie that I just can always watch and it's always like giving me a good feeling is The Nine Gates with Johnny Depp. What's The Nine Gates? I've never heard of that. It's a very old movie, like from the early 2000s, maybe. Um, oh, yeah. It's about Johnny Depp looking like for these books. That apparently you can like summon a devil with or something. And mm -hmm. he just kind of. It's just kind of mysterious because he tries to research it and there's like shady characters that are trying to, you know, um, make him not get any further in his research and stuff. And then it's about these um, wood carvings in, in, in the books and then they discover that they're like similar sometimes or they have other. Um, a different signature and stuff. It's it's kind of cool. It's, it's like okay. like the X Files, but not with aliens, but um, Satanism. Oh, cool! I like wood carvings. So I solved the puzzle of the switch by going up to the floor and falling through a hole and getting to the island with a chest on it and opening the chest and it was an HP seed and it gave us four. Max HP. And so now our max HP is 96. Awesome. It's pretty awesome, isn't it? Having a lot of fun in this game. <sighs> and all How while, many floors have we been up now? We have this fantastic music to keep us company. Hmm. Are the spikes hurting you much? No. 
Uh, not too much. Not too much. So I know how many flowers there are total, but I don't know which flower we're on. Me neither. I think we're on six. What's this fun room with the this arrows? The arrows put you down a hole. So the secret is you have to step on the spikes instead of going on the arrows. That seems so pretty the good. The entire puzzle. secret of this tower. Step on the yeah, spikes. Yeah, throw yourself on the spikes, please. Uh, healing nut. I'm going to use a healing nut. I'll go up the stairs. Bingo! It's a cat. Ah, it's Natalia. Oh, she's just got like... She's just got like shit on the floor. Yeah, it's this a mess. This is gross. Ah, <laughs> uh, hey, you're late. I thought you would arrive here a bit sooner. <laughs> hey, Walt's on over here and explain why you came. Okay, now listeners, every single time we fall down a hole, when we go back up to the level where the hole was, the hole isn't there anymore, but there's a little telltale marking on the ground which is the game's way of letting you know that there was a hole there last time that you fell through. And there happens to be six telltale markings all arranged in a rectangle in front of Matoya. So she's doing a funny trick. We're going to walk around it and she's going to be like, Oh, you've learned your lesson. My traps have taught you well. Ha 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 ha. Here's a potion. Goodbye. <laughs> so let's do it. Oh, oh, pizza. Is this a smart game? Why? If we go around to the right, she'll be like, Oh, well done! Here's a potion! If we go to the left, we have to cross this suspicious square rug. Maybe there'll be another hole under the rug. No Let's way. Do it. No way. It's just a regular no. rug. It's just a regular rug. Let's get in her bed. Oh, it looks so comfy. It does look comfy. Lots of quilts. Mm -hmm. Big, a nice big quilty bed. Let's read all her books. Oh, she doesn't actually have any books. They're just painted on these uh, rectangles of wood. <laughs> uh, let's check her kitchen. Oh, well, well, well. There's a, a drawer. A drawer. A silverware cabinet drawer. Touch it. Touch it. Open the drawer. Let's, well, let's shake the cabinet. Shall we, <laughs> yeah, pizza? Shake the cabinet, sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't run your grubby paws all over other people's possessions, says Matoya. Let's, I guess she's going to say that for everything we do. Let's try touching it. Uh, it seems to be oh, constructed well, no. with the same design and quality materials as the table and chairs. Oh, great. Those quality materials that we remarked upon earlier. <laughs> Let's try opening it. Nah, she says, hey, stop it. Yeah. All right. Let's look at her sink. Let's look at her, her kitchen bench. Let's look in her jar. Let's look at her tables and chairs. <laughs> nope. Okay. Let's talk to Matoya. Oh no, let's look at all these millions of jars over here. Mm. No, there's nothing here. Let's talk to Matoya. Mm. Is it me? I'm giving you a turn. Yeah, I'm giving <laughs> it to you. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Private thoughts. Go ahead. You have a request for me? Well, first I need you to do some chores. Afterwards, I'll listen to whatever you have to say. How's that? No, bitch. <laughs> well, in that case, scram, bozo. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Matoya! But she walked over the trap. <laughs> she was like, go on, get. Oh! <gasps> And now we oh. rush over the trap automatically. Oh. Oh. We go right down to the fucking bottom. Is that because it's you were? Myself. Is that because you were a smarty pants and answered no? Oh my fucking god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I answered no, she put me all the way down to the goddamn ground floor. We're back at the start of the episode. We're back at the, literally the start of the episode. I'd say you deserve that. I deserve that. I say that as well. <laughs> Matoya says, ee -hee -hee, this is so entertaining. Come on up again. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, pizza. I don't know. Tell the listeners a goddamn story or something while I struggle back up to the top. Well, so being interested in, in being like a bottom or whatever or sub, that's like kind yeah. of an interesting uh, dynamic that's going on here. Like she's throwing you down the entire tower and then she's going like come back up again. So... Yeah. She is giving you a lot of trouble. 
but she's also telling you that you should come back to her. It's a very interesting mm, situation, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, is Mephlet getting anything out of this? Mm, well, she was the one who was like, uh, I don't know, making the decision in the first place to do deliberately the wrong thing. Oh, right, she's also like a but bratty sub. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a little worse. <laughs> All right. Wow, that was remarkably quick. <laughs> the entire episode. Really? <laughs> we're back up the top. Holy God. We just did one random encounter and we're, here we are. I just knew exactly what to do when I did it. Nice. That's such an insult to all the past. That's that's the past hour of everybody's lives who's been listening, and yours and mine, pizza, <laughs> just summarized in one psychosexual analysis of the situation. <laughs> Where's a healing seed? I stepped on so many spikes to get through. Get get here. And you liked it. Okay, good. <laughs> I have to use magic. Use health on Maplet. Okay, let's talk to her again. Oh, you have a request for me? First, I need you to do some chores. Afterwards, I'll listen to whatever you have to say. How's that? Yes, I say. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Start by tidying up my room. I won't take no for an answer. Nice. Fuck, you were right, Pizza. <laughs> this is getting you, that was not a bit. <laughs> that was just a literal read of the situation. <laughs> Pick up the clothes on the floor and put them in the empty wooden <laughs> chest near my bed. <laughs> but put on this butt plug first. <laughs> <laughs> and crawl around the room. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to find the butt plug in the chest, obviously. <sighs> oh, it's going to be under the bed, obviously. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. I can't pick up the... Ch That's the chest. Oh, what the hell? There's the chest. Yeah, we investigate a chest and it's a big wooden chest. That's the butt like, plug chest. Yeah. What's the butt plug chest? You're gonna earn Examine, it first. Open or just take take a butt plug. <coughs> uh, take the Let's chest. Open it. You open Matoya's yeah, chest. You open Matoya's chest. Nice chest ahead. Awesome chest ahead. Take. Ah, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> um, is that Gu uh, Guinevere? Yes. Nice. <laughs> I get it. Listen, as I fucking got it. Nice. I got the joke that Pizza just made. Oh. I'm, I'm proud of you. Thank you, Pizza. See, I'm good at video games. I got that video game joke. <laughs> All right, let's exa let's just take. Ah, oh, oh, Matoya hey. says, "Hey, don't run your grubby paws all over other people's possessions." Can we, we at least look at it? And see what it, what's inside? No, okay, not sure. It's open. Search, examine. This is Matoya's chest. Inside, you find old accessories, decorations, butt plugs, sheets, and the like. Hmm. But we can't take any of them. What a situation. Can you imagine? <laughs> it's like... <laughs> it's like... It's, it's just like that... Um, that Twilight Zone episode. I oh, didn't... I had time. I had all the butt plugs in the world. <laughs> oh. But now... No, I don't know. My bum fell off? I don't know what the joke is. <laughs> I, should, I love this podcast. This is great. I should probably watch Twilight. Uh, Twilight Zone. Nah. Nah? Nah, it's very old. Okay, and then Black Mirror. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Uh, yeah, watch that. I've never watched that. Can you not examine the clothes? clothes? Can you talk to her no. again? Be like, hey, throw me down the hall. <laughs> <laughs> get, She's started like, now. get started now. Uh. Pick up the clothes on the floor and put them Pick in the, the empty wood the chest near my bed. Put them in the empty wood chest near my bed. How do you pick up? Hang on. I start using other buttons on this controller. Shit. Uh oh. Do I have to be? Oh, I have to be next to it. That's I can't odd. be on top of it. Okay. A pile oh. of wrinkled clothing is lying on the floor. Will you pick it up? Of course I will. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. My plate got the wrinkled clothing. <laughs> Next pile. Same message. Do we? 
She'll be disappointed if we do it all in one go. I bet, I bet she wants us to do it one at a time. <laughs> I don't think so. No, we can't even do it yet. Oh, we have to do it in the uh, empty one. Oh, no. I think you just, yeah, go search and then go item. Use item. Use item. Wrinkled clothes. And butt plug. But I should have used that first. Oh, she'll be disappointed. <laughs> I love this podcast. Wrinkled clothing, here it is. You place the wrinkled clothing inside the chest, just like she wanted. Mm. Just like she wanted, that was a little flavor you added. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a pile of wrinkled clothing, we pick it up. The third and final pile of wrinkled clothing is picked up. Yeah, it's the last one. Search, use item. Wrinkled clothing. Good puzzle game. I really enjoyed this puzzle. <laughs> this isn't a puzzle. It's a sexual moment. You have now yeah. picked up yeah. all of the clothing that was lying on the floor. Yeah, we know. Now what? And now what? Ah, yes. The room does appear neater. <laughs> now, could you find my glasses? I seem to have misplaced them. I'm sure they're inside this lighthouse. Maybe <laughs> even on this very floor. Maybe. Okay. Okay, look into all look in the jars. jars. I wonder what else we're gonna find. <laughs> uh, Any whips, possibly? Mm, oh, a cat O9 tails. Wow, that's gonna hurt like shit. Nah, they're all right. Let's open this drawer. Look in the drawer. There we are. We found Matoya's glasses. Nice. Oh, that wasn't too painful, was it? <laughs> now I'll grant your request. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your turn. He he he! I already know. You want to tame that monster in the quarry, correct? I am the great sorceress, Matoya. I've already foreseen your purpose. Furthermore, this is my chance to teach those childish cats a lesson. Anyway, I'll need you to bring me the following items. The ingredients for a special tonic. Let's see. I need... A chess pawn. Hmm. A healing sapling and also... Uh an onion and a rat tail and fire scotch that's it okay. okay talk to her again have you brought me something the ingredients i oh. still require ah let me see i need a chest pawn hmm. should i write this down pizza or can you just walk through it if we need to. I can Hang on. No, let me write it down. To. I'm gonna write it down. Where's a piece of paper? Okay, here. It's drawing my son made for me. Change. Pawn. Oh. Healing sapling. Healing. This is insane. Sapling. Onion. A bunch of these we already had, right? Rat tail, rat. Table. We do. Fire. We gave we gave an onion to Brig and the Schmig or whatever his name is. Um, the healing sapling we gave to the oh, gun boss cats. I see. Fire. Scotch. I bet that'll be in the bar. Okay. So I don't know where a rat tail will be. I guess healing sapling. We've got to go all the way back to that other dungeon past the horse cock the chess pawn will be in the brig of the blood hook ship uh, the fire scotch is probably scotch like the drink it'll be in the bar of the blood hook That's no the gun boss ship three for three so far maybe brig in the schmig will have an onion whatever his name is but listeners guess what I'm gonna jump down this hole Woo! cool shortcut 
Um, and you'll have to join us next time when we play more Vampire's Dawn and find all of these items. Vampire Dawn, exactly. That's what we're playing here. Better save the game. <laughs> Matoya shouts back down to us. <laughs> did you fall down again? Try and recall the placement of the traps as best you can. No, I did that for fun. Um, oh, let's take some healing fountain drink. We'll save the game and then we'll do a final goodbye. Oh, I hate final goodbyes. I mean, you know, for this blood night or whatever we're calling it. Oh, blood night. Mm, a blood night. <clears throat> Save complete. All right, all right, listeners. Um, I've liked this episode actually, mostly because of the last half and not because of the first half. <laughs> but I, th I think there's still fun to be had in this game. Yeah, yeah, there is. I already do this. Wow, the left. Hang on. The left bumper. Hang on. <laughs> okay. I walk up to the statue. I hit the left bumper. And it investigates the statue. I hit the right bumper and it doesn't. I walk away. I hit the left bumper and nothing happens. That's so weird. Because usually the A button investigates stuff. What the fuck? Yeah, but I've got to go through the search menu to investigate the, the statue. So is the left bumper just the default search action? It is, I think. Ah. Hang on. Let me go use it on the fountain. Yeah, I don't have to search if I hit the left bumper. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Really utilizing all of the controls here. I wonder what the right bumper does contextually. Gosh, I wish I had the... The met... Pizza, get your manual out. Oh, Where's your it's, manual? It's all in Japanese, though. That's okay. It'll like it'll have little arrows pointing to the the buttons that do stuff, yeah, right? Remind me next time. I'll I'll bring it. Okay, sure. Okay, sure. Bring out the manual next time, listeners. Mm -hmm. Pizza's gonna bring out the manual next time. We'll uh, gather these these cool items next time. The chestborn, the healing sapling, the onion, the rat tail, and the fire scotch. Yeah. Tune in, it'll be a blast. We'll keep on playing, we promise. Mm -hmm. We'll keep on playing right to the end of the game, definitely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it has to be me on my own, we'll keep on playing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. See you next time, definitely. See you next time, definitely. <sighs> <sighs> Pick state. I never know how this works. Eight? Sure. Enter? Okay then. Safe state? Eight. Whatever. Mm. Alright. I'm gonna stop recording.